Both her husband and Mitt Romney know the race can be won or lost in Ohio, and that is why stops in the Buckeye State are such a priority. Holly Samuels breaks down the numbers to explain why our state's electoral votes are such a prize. Each presidential election cycle, the spotlight focuses on the state of Ohio. And we know that this state can make or break a candidate's chance at the presidency. In fact, no Republican candidate has ever won the seat without first winning Ohio. And that information is not lost on Mitt Romney, who just last week made a swing through the northwestern part of the state, stopping in Bowling Green and Toledo, two of several stops in the state so far. The same goes for President Obama, who last Monday stumped in Cincinnati. Mr. Obama even kicked off his campaign this May at Ohio State University, pushing for support in our capital city. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray. And if you're already sick of these campaign ads, you're not alone, and we're not even seeing the worst of it. Columbus, Cincinnati, and Cleveland have been inundated with political ads. Mr. Obama's campaign has spent nearly $100 million on television commercials in battleground states so far, more than one-fifth of that spent in Ohio. Romney's camp has spent just about a quarter of that, hoping to secure our 18 electoral votes. There are also campaign offices springing up throughout the state of Ohio. President Obama now has 39 campaign offices in Ohio, as compared to Romney's 35 in the state. In our viewing area, the president has four, one in Troy, Springfield, Beaver Creek, and Dayton. Compare that to Mitt Romney's two offices in our area, one in Beaver Creek and one in Centerville. Romney focusing his efforts more on the three largest cities in the state of Ohio. I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News.